After five years, the hit medical drama Saving Hope is coming to an end. Pressure's dropping, push ringers. You know, I'm on it. You know, when people say that catering was a sorry job, they were kidding. Okay, oxygen, <laughs> come on, where is it? Grace, I need you to stop talking and breathe, all right? Just breathe for me, that's all you gotta do. And through it all, Erica Durance's character, Dr. Alex Reed, has been saving lives at Hope Zion Hospital and dealing with the ups and downs of her personal life along the way. For a preview of the fifth and final season, Erica Durance is with us this morning. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Um, let, let's talk about this show. Five years of doing a show like this here in Toronto. Yeah. Um, when, a, um, when a Canadian show goes on the air, we have ambitions for it, but I don't think that we necessarily think it's going to be this successful for this long and be this big. What were your ambitions going in, and what do you think looking back? Well, my ambitions were just to kind of have have this job and try to try to create this this uh, this story and 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 push it forward. And we were so lucky to have the five years, and you never you never really expect that. Um, so it's been a, it's been a roller coaster. It's been crazy and fun, and I, I like to think of myself as a, a semi-doctor now. Yeah, I was gonna, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was one of my questions. Did you pick up any real skills? I've been on set, I had a cameo as a barista. Um, <laughs> and you were wonderful. But, um, <laughs> but it looks like a hospital, it feels like a hospital, you have real stuff that you'd see in hospitals. Did you become kind of like a doctor? I, I, I like to think so. I know how to cut people open, I know how to take organs out. Now, um, can you put them back in? I, I, don't, I don't know. I can, <laughs> so, I can, so, I can do a, a, a mean stitch. Yeah, tie. I mean, the stitch so, is important, yeah. though. It's got to look real, right? <laughs> well, season five picks up right after a cliffhanger mm -hmm. at the end of season four. So give us what you can about what we can expect going into the season and moving forward. Well, I would say don't. the cool thing about our show is you don't trust what you see because somebody could still be a ghost. Yes. So you don't know if they've passed over or not. Nobody is safe. So we're in the aftermath of the shooting, and... Um, Alex is once again looking for Charlie to see what happened and of course as things go there's chaos and she's got to save a life and she's got to try to save Charlie and so we just kind of start that way in the show and you just you don't know is Charlie a ghost did he make it did he not make it this poor guy so okay so my <laughs> so my next question is uh, give me a headache because my next question was going to be <laughs> about Alex and Charlie that's been an ongoing story will they get there happily ever after um and I was going to ask, can people expect a resolution? But now you're even telling me at the beginning we don't know. We don't know. And, I mean, I think that's what makes it interesting because they're constantly fighting for um, their relationship and working, working through his gift or ability or whether she thinks of it as a curse or he thinks of it as a curse. So it's definitely a roller coaster ride through the, the entire season five. And I think people are going to love it and hate it at the same time. One question that people have had throughout the series is, is asking, why does Charlie see the ghost? I mean, what, what's that connection? Is there going to be an answer to that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was definitive. I didn't expect that. <laughs> that you were going to hedge. Oh, wow. Right. OK. Um, and uh, uh, talk to me now about being back at work or, or having to go back at work um, after, with being a new mom again. Yeah, so uh, in season five, I, I was pregnant again, and that was a miracle surprise. Yeah. And my wonderful bosses let me keep my job, which is fantastic. And uh, it's just, it's been nuts. And I have a bit of baby brain. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure out what it's like to be in the real world. I've been living amongst diapers and two year olds. <laughs> and so it's, you just got to keep going. Yesterday was International Women's Day. You know, you are a, a mother of three, you work uh, full time. Um, have you found over the course of your career, that being a, um, an actress, being a, someone who wants to have a career and a family, has, has life become a little more, has the environment of acting become a little more accommodating for, for the lifestyle of a woman who wants to have a family? Uh, it sure has, it sure has for me. Like I said, in this show, I was able to have two children. Yeah. Um, and I've been doing this now for you know, about 15 years. And when I first started, it, it certainly wasn't something that it was, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't be quite allowed. And I, and I do feel like we're getting to a, a space in our society, we're trying to, where you can try to do a little bit of everything. And, and it accommodates the idea that, yes, we want to have a career, we want to do things, we want to have something for ourselves, and we want mm -hmm. our, our children, and we want to kind of try to find a way to mesh it. It's a bit crazy, but it's happening. Erica Durant, uh, it's been a pleasure watching this show grow and the success that you guys have had. I know that he, at, at CTV in general, upstairs at ETALK specifically, it's been, really been an honor. Congratulations. Thank you. And congratulations on the fifth season. We look forward to seeing how it all gets tied up. Okay. All thanks. right. And you can catch the premiere of Saving Hope Sunday at 10 p.m. on CTV.